10 German guys just like wanting to freaking bum rush me and just punch me. And then uh, Tyrone came and like got in front of me and literally pulled me through. And then the circle just collapsed. And he pulled me through and like took me upstairs <laughs> so that nothing would happen. And, I, and he was just like, what the hell? And I was just looking and I was like, oh my God, what just happened? Like the, right. the whole, it was just nuts. You know what I mean? Salute to the subscribers, those that live beyond the cipher. I'm your host, Ill Skills. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. They cost you nothing. Welcome to episode 12 of Beyond the Cipher with Ill Skills, Sin City Superman. We are the podcast that shows humanity and the superhuman. Today on the show, we have a guy that's done it all. Battle of the Year, America's Best Dance Crew, Jabberwocky's Performances, the list goes on. From Knucklehead Zoo and Super Crew, Ben Stacks. What up, Ben? How you doing, man? What's up, man? What's up? What's up? I'm excited. I'm excited to, to talk to you today, man. I'm doing good. We were, um, you know, pleasantly, not really surprised, but just it was a pleasant thing when you said that you would be willing to come and, and chat with the family. You know what I'm saying? Come come speak yeah. to us that live beyond the cipher, man. We really appreciate that, especially with, you know, all of the things that you've accomplished in the culture, man. It's really dope to have somebody of your caliber and with your history to come on the show and share your story, you know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you, man. I, I think it's really cool what uh, you what, what you guys are doing, you know, because the the b boy scene needs to needs to know more about what's going on with the dancers and people's lives, and you know what I'm saying. That you know, so it's not just about you know what moves we're doing, you know what I mean, in the cipher, but what moves we're doing outside the cipher too, you know. No doubt, man, and and we're gonna touch on all that over the course of this conversation. Now, traditionally. Where I start, just because it gives, gives us a good starting point, is how you were introduced and got involved with breaking culture. Okay, dope. Words. So how, how I got into breaking, uh, really, it, it just it started with my interest in hip hop. You know what I mean? I was, um, I was about like 11 or 12 when I really started getting into just more than just mainstream hip hop. I started discovering just, you know, like, like artists like Tribe Called Quest and, you know what I mean, De La Soul, like getting into the 90s kind of vibe and... And then um, one of the movies actually that really got me into hip hop was Juice. You know what I mean? Like seeing seeing like the uh, the DJ battles, right? Wow! But yeah, just Juice. not not to cut you off, man. But I think you you might be the first person so far that's that's dropped a movie that didn't yeah. drop Beat Street. Everybody else is just like, I yeah. saw Beat Street. I saw Beat Street. You're like, I saw I saw damn thugging. <laughs> I saw Tupac thugging yeah. on <laughs> on the big screen. It was like, yo, I'm about to get into this. <laughs> yeah, man. So that DJ scene, I remember, really want, like got me interested in, in DJing. My brother like ended up getting like a little starter kit of um a little gemini set real cheap like uh turntable set and so we used to go down to the hip-hop spot and and buy and buy records you know and um also i was getting in, into graffiti like tagging and stuff like that so like i had remember buying like uh graffiti videos and stuff like that and um i would see b-boying in the graffiti videos and immediately like like I just would start to try to imitate it, you know what I mean? Like I, I seen them do head spins, some footwork, and then um, yes, yeah, so that's how it started for me. I didn't see Beat Street and stuff like that till actually later. Like by the time I really was into breaking, by the time I was like fourteen or fifteen, you know what I mean? Be before right. like the first two years, it was all about like you know I was just trying to you know like tag and 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 I was just really into. I guess like I was just learning about the culture, you know? Right. Now, so did you have an actual mentor, a person, or was it just like teach myself off these video, off these um, graffiti videos? Yeah, it was like teach teach ourselves. Like it was me and my brother in the very very beginning, and then a few of my friends that you know we we had like our little graffiti crew 
called Criminal Habits. <laughs> we were just young, but um, so uh, we were teaching ourselves. We didn't know what the heck we were doing. Not till a few years later, I had met like um, people, like other people that break, like in my high school. Like I met uh, my boy Ricky, which is Freaky from uh, from Knucklehead Zoo, mm -hmm. um, and uh, he had like learned a little bit because Mr. Wiggles lived in town and he had like met Mr. Wiggles, did a few classes with them or something. Right. And so, yeah. So I started getting information from just people around us. You know, we were, it took me like a year and a half to learn how to windmill. You know what I mean? Wow. Like, all, like, uh, because I didn't, we didn't know how the fuck to do it. So it was right. like, all, <laughs> you know, and yeah, we would, you know, I'd literally rewind like, uh, the video with, uh, the, it was like Redman and Keith Murray, I think, and uh, Crazy Legs and Ken Swift were all in that, and they redid like uh, one of the Rapper's Delight. Songs. That was the Rapper's yeah. Delight remake. Yeah, they remade that. <laughs> we would literally rewind that one like crazy <laughs> to try to see moves, and then and then later on, I started getting breaking videos and all that, and um, yeah, so we didn't have much much of a mentor at first. Mm -hmm. You know, I started seeing people like Floor Rock and. And even like full force too, they were like guys that had a little bit more experience than, than us also at that time. So just little by little, I started gaining like knowledge, you know? No doubt. So um, as your game, so what was your original style then? Because I know we know you for the, like the press style, right? But I'm assuming that wasn't your original style. No, definitely. My original style, like honestly, I, like I had like a bald head baggy clothes tribal i used to wear <laughs> big fat laces in my adidas you know like that's how it was in the very beginning you know mm -hmm. for the first few years because i was kind of connecting myself more with just like that it was more of like a la kind of like graffiti kind of you know style i think out you know and um and also just like because i'm half mexican half spanish you know okay and um so i would kind of like in high school i would kind of like hang out with a lot of mexican asian guys you know because because we're right. the ones just th that were breaking you know uh, of course it was very multicultural too but mm. you know back then i feel like it was very it was kind of like segregated a little bit too you know it was weird okay but i'm um, so i identified with that style in the very beginning so i was just doing like old school moves like you know footwork and um you know but i was very basic my style started changing later when, when we like within all of our friends, we started realizing, you know what? Like, I don't think it's cool to wear Adidas anymore because we started hearing those things like three stripes don't make you a B-boy. You know what I mean? Uh. It's kind of like, then it turned into like, oh, if you dress in all Adidas, you're just kind of like a poser. You know what I mean? So it started changing. And then we started becoming more of like, a, I guess like we were kind of started dressing and listening to music that was more of just within within our time you know like within the, the like the updated year uh, years i guess i don't know right no doubt and <clears throat> so you're developing as a dancer the the you know time is going on now when did you encounter the press style like did you encounter it from what they were doing in texas or was it something that organically was created in vegas uh, um no i, I think um what happened in Vegas was we like we were seeing videos from guys in California, Texas, of course, Seattle, you know, got like soul control, seeing like soul control and Cujo and, um, you know, bar and the, the whole soul control, all, you know, and then all, all of like those videos, you remember like, like freestyle session, like the first one. And, you know, um, even like the first, like, like flavor to burns and. What do you mean Gretzky beyond? Keep on running, running. Keep, running. Keep the circle jumping, jumping. jumping. 
they make it. You know, seeing, seeing all these videos, we're inspired by everybody. But I think, um, like, we just became obsessed with just doing the press style in mm -hmm. Vegas. You know? No doubt. We would just really just um, have battles where, like, it was called Battle Club. And we would go to my friend's house and we'd always, we'd put in, like, a few dollars. And then it would be, like, a little tournament. But it turned into, we just, and we, it turned in at first it was a, like a you know a normal battle but then as time passed it turned into just a, it looked like a press competition you know what i mean wow <laughs> like, doing transfers and that was guys from like uh like the younger full force crew which was called uh future force and then uh, knuckleheads at the time and then uh a few other guys just coming from random parts of the city uh guys that turned into rouse crew actually later on oh yeah i remember the rouse the rouse punks i remember them from uh from was it freestyle session seven i believe yeah yeah I remember, yeah. yeah no the doubt punks they were like they were just like kind of like you know asian kids that had a lot of like transfers and stuff and then one of the kids that um floor rock was teaching his name was graham his name is shorty rock mm -hmm. he was like floor rock's protege so he was all foundation but he was really really young so um, he ended up becoming friends with, with, with some of the fusion force guys cause they were his age mm -hmm. and they were all doing that different style. And back then it was like, like the rock steady kind of, uh, guys or floor rock pretty much in like rock skittles that were all foundation. They used to clown what the fuck we were doing. Like, you know, <laughs> cause back then, you know, they had little chat rooms. They used to be like, Oh, they're just twitching on the floor. It's not breaking. And to us, that kind of fueled us, you know, we we're like, man, let's just do it more, you know? Right. Because we're, Fired by you know all these different cats from all over and it was just making us just just you know want to be different want to be creative and so it was a whole bunch of us that were really doing all that stuff so he started hanging out with them and then he started mixing you know his foundation and and the uh the press style really well he was one of the first ones that like like to me like had a solid vocabulary of foundation more than any of us mm -hmm. he was trained with the master of foundation, you know, for so long. And I mean, he, and he was younger than us. And, and then he started mixing it and it was just like really fluid and really dope. So actually he inspired me like, like seeing what he was doing with it. And I was like, oh man, I want to do more stuff like that too. Cause it just flowed really well. Wow. We, we would just focus on all that, like the transfers and just doing different kind of moves, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think that kind of like, we were one of the first you know wants to be like you know because we used to say it back then it was one of our sayings we used to be like fuck foundation <laughs> you know <laughs> it was like our way to rebel right for more quality content from beyond the cypher with ill skills don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons let us know how we're doing in the comment section and to make sure you don't miss anything from the channel go ahead and smash that notification bell we appreciate the love and support so far, so peace until the next episode.